Hey guys, I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And finally, after over 80 days of beta testing, Apple has made it official. Today, Apple released iOS 14.5 to everyone worldwide and you can update your iPhone and or iPad to the latest update. iOS 14.5 is finally here. Of course, in this video, we're going to go over every new feature that's available for your iPhone. There's a lot to talk about. A lot of the bugs have been fixed as well. We'll talk about that and should you update to the latest iOS 14.5. So there's just a lot, as I mentioned, to talk about. So let's dive right in. Now, one thing to note is that Apple also released tvOS 14.5 as well as iPadOS 14.5 and watchOS 7.4. And one of the biggest features coming to iOS 14.5 is mask detection for Face ID to unlock with Apple Watch. Now, this is a new feature that allows the iPhone with Face ID to detect that if you have a mask on, you can actually use your Apple Watch to unlock your iPhone. Of course, your Apple Watch has to have a passcode in order for this to work. And this is sort of the same method Apple uses when you go to unlock your Mac. So if you open your Mac and you have an Apple Watch on and you enable the feature, your Apple Watch is used as authentication to unlock your Mac. So pretty much the same uh, method used here to unlock your iPhone while wearing a mask. A lot of users were hoping and anticipating for this feature. It is finally here with iOS 14.5 and you have the option to turn it on or off if you don't want to use it. Right there it is under Face ID and Passcode in Settings. You can turn off Unlock with Apple Watch option. Right there it is. It gives you a brief description on how it works and it is an awesome feature to have obviously for your iPhone on the latest iOS 14.5 alongside watchOS 7.4. Keep in mind both devices have to be updated to the latest version. Now, there's also a major feature coming to iOS 14.5 with this latest update, and this one was sort of controversial, and this one is under privacy and tracking. So developers do track iOS users in order to provide relevant ads or ad information to your iOS device. Now, Apple had made this feature available for developers since iOS 14, but it wasn't really being enforced until 14.5. So as of today, Every developer that is intending to track you for advertising purposes, you'll get an extra prompt when you first launch their application after installing this latest update, asking you if you would like to allow them to track you or not for advertising purposes. And as you can see right here, you can also manage this directly from the settings application. And again, Apple had already made this feature available for iOS 14, but wasn't really enforcing it to its maximum until today. And this one was sort of controversial. Apple had a lot of developers to get on board with this one and took some time, but it is finally here. And it's a great feature, obviously, for transparency purposes. Now, if we head on over to settings, and we go to notifications and we scroll all the way to the bottom here. We now have a new option under emergency alerts. You can turn off emergency alerts completely by toggling this off right here. Or if you have your iPhone in silent, the silent switch on, you can go ahead and toggle off always deliver. And if you get an amber alert or an emergency alert, you will still get the notification, but you won't get the sound. So you'll still get the notification on the notification center or the lock screen, but you're not going to get that very loud sound that amber alerts and emergency alerts deliver when you do get those. So again, if you turn off always deliver, you won't get the sound as long as your mute switch is enabled on your iPhone. So that's all also something new to note here there's also 5g dual sim support it is finally here for your iphone so this is going to be awesome for travelers and for those that have two lines 5g support is now available for dual sim another great option a great feature that apple had enabled and this one was a no-brainer you can actually now stream to your tv your fitness plus workouts without an apple tv so apple had enabled airplay 2 casting support now for Fitness Plus customers. So at when first Apple launched this feature, it was only available from your iPhone to your Apple TV to stream it over to your TV set. Now you can actually do it directly to your TV set without the Apple TV in the middle with AirPlay 2, as long as your TV supports AirPlay 2. And most newer TVs do, so you should be able to do that now in case you did not own an Apple TV. Now with iOS 14.5, there's also an awesome feature, which is full support for PS5 and Xbox controller for your iPhone and iPad. So if you have one of the latest remotes for the latest consoles, you now have the ability and full support, full support for gaming on those controllers 
as well. Now there's also some changes to Siri and the music streaming services. Now when you first update your iPhone to the latest iOS 14.5 and you ask Siri to play a particular artist, if you have more than one streaming service for media or music, it'll ask you which one would you prefer. So as you can see here, this is the prompt that you'll see, Apple Music or Spotify. The same thing applies for audiobooks and other media as well. So this is not definitely changing the default application. That's not what Apple is telling us here. According to Apple, this is more of a workaround for the meantime where you can choose which service you prefer for your music, media, and or audiobooks. So yeah, that's something definitely interesting that Apple did. Definitely new and I like it a lot. Now there's a lot happening in Apple Music as well. So there's a few changes to Apple Music as well here. So you now have your lyrics sharing. You have by city charts and a made for you. There's also something new happening here with Apple Music. So let's head on over to Apple Music here. And if we tap on these three dots, you see that the menu and UI is slightly different as well, which is a welcome addition. And if you go to an album, you can now swipe gestures here to the left. You have delete or download, and you also have added to the beginning or the end of the queue. So UI changes here to Apple Music as well as some of the latest new features with lyric sharing, city charts, and a made for you option. So very nice updates to Apple Music as well. Crowdsourcing is now available for Apple Maps as well. So if you're traveling and you want to report an incident or an accident, some hazard conditions or speed checks, you can also do that now on Apple Maps, something new for Apple Maps, although it's been available for many, many years on Google Maps, finally arrived to Apple Map and it's a welcome addition to see that happening here as well now there's a ton of new emojis coming to your iphone and ipad with the latest ios 14.5 as you can see here over 200 emojis to be exact 217 emojis are now made available for your iPhone from different couples that you can set. And there's also a few other ones here. Exhaust and face, as you can see there. There's also the scribbly eyes and the face in smoke. You also have the fire heart right there it is. And the band-aid heart as well is now available. There's also some nice touches available here. So we have the syringe now. Looks different as you can see from this image right here. And you also have the headphones, which now mimics Apple's latest AirPods Max. So of course, Apple is going to do that. They're going to change the headphones icons to their actual products. So minor changes there to the actual emojis. And if you go to the emoji keyboard, let me show you here under the picker, you actually have different characters right there, as you can see, and you can set different uh, couples. So let's head on over to the couples here. Let me show you how this one works. If I tap here, I can tap and hold and actually select different color skin, different hair colors and things like that. So for the left side, I can select this one. For the right side, I can select that one or whatever. And there you go. You have, you get the idea right there. You can mix and match and create your very own customized couples with the latest 14.5 with the emojis keyboard as well. So over 217 different combinations and emojis all together on the latest iOS 14.5, but some of the greatest uh, ones here, in my opinion, are some of the latest emoji faces, the heart, and the, the new option for the headphones right there. So some of the new ones are now available. So a lot of happening there as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the latest new features in terms of performance, because if we head on over to general about this one right here is running the latest firmware. So if you have the latest uh, modern firmware on your iPhone 5G, iPhone 12, then you're now going to get a better network connection. So that's also going to be better for you as well. 5G has been improved on iPhone 12. In case you did not know, a new modern firmware has just been made available as well. Now, if we head on over to wallpapers here, you see that we now have an additional wallpaper, which is the purple one. And that is because Apple had announced the latest new iPhone 12 in purple. So that's also an improvement there as well. Now, iPhone 7 users, there's been improvements to battery, by the way. So just keep that in mind. Uh, also, we have new options for Siri voices. So in America, you now have different Siri voices. Instead of male and female, you now have four different voices. This is number one. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Number two. Hi. Number three. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. And number four, the standard one. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. So yeah, happening in Siri is new voices available 
in your region if you live in the United States there's no longer a gender assigned to Siri from uh, the beginning so when you first update it's not going to be the standard one you get to choose which one you want to use now there's also some additional changes to the reminders application as well so you have the ability to sort your reminders now finally and you can also print your reminders list as well if you need to take it with you on the go now there's actually some minor changes to control center as well here in control center we now have a new apple tv remote option uh, you see that the icon is slightly larger there and a little bit different on the latest software supporting the new apple tv 4k which apple had made announcements of on their latest spring event so the new remote icon is different there as well so let's go ahead and talk about some of the latest bug fixes customers that were concerned about a green tint display that has definitely been addressed and uh, many many customers have reported that this issue has been fixed on the latest 14.5 now i personally did not have this issue directly but apple uh, did address this according to many users on apple forums so that's obviously great news uh, the magsafe animation for wireless charging has been addressed as well that was kind of iffy in the latest beta stages and now in the official release the animation for magsafe and the sound is back and running obviously now there's also as i mentioned the mask unlock feature which was kind of iffy at first but now to me it's been working almost perfect you also have an issue where uh, when you go to record video on your iphone 12 it would actually just turn off it would freeze it would go crazy and on the lock screen it would actually freeze as well if you swipe over to the camera that has been resolved i came across that issue and i can definitely confirm it has been resolved finally thank god so now there's also third-party app for messaging like whatsapp and facebook messaging sometimes you couldn't hear those voice memos now that's been fixed thank god and uh, also on facebook as i mentioned that's been fixed as well so if you were having messaging and voice memos issues with those apps it's finally been addressed now for iphone 7 users you guys get extra features here under the batteries category so let's go ahead and take a look at iphone 7 models and this is for all iphone 7 models you get the battery recalibrating option. So if you go to battery health, you might see this message right here. And this will take a few weeks to take effect. What Apple is doing here is recalibrating the maximum capacity battery health on your iPhone to give you a more accurate number. Many users have been concerned that their iPhones were not reflecting the proper number and Apple has taken action to improve the battery and also the actual percentage that's displayed for the battery health on your iPhone. Now this again, you don't really have to do much. All you have to do is use your iPhone as normal and within the next two to three weeks, this message will disappear, giving you the indication that this has been completed. So if you go to learn more, you can find out more about this new feature and how it works. And of course, there's also AirTags. Apple has updated the Find My application. You now have the new Items tab. And when you click on Items, you can choose to add an AirTag or another supported device with a, the Find My network. So now it's an entire network of devices that you can set up. Of course, AirTags will be releasing this week alongside iOS 14.5, which is released today. So this was already set and ready to go. Apple had everything lined up for AirTags and the Find My network. Again, you can also identify other AirTags around you in case uh, you find someone's item as well. And it's just an entire network of devices working together with the new Find My application and Find My network. Some users recently had reported that iPhone 12 specifically had terrible battery on iOS 14.5. Now, I can't say the same. To me, the battery has been very, very good. Uh, but some users continue to report that. As I always say, just give it about a day or two. If you have already updated, then yeah, just keep in mind, some users did report on that. In terms of iPhone SE first generation, which is the only device that I have any concern with, uh, these devices I do not recommend updating to iOS 14.5. I would definitely hold off on these devices here, the iPhone SE first generation, iPhone 12, as I mentioned, you might want to wait a day or two if you already updated, just keep in mind some reports have been made 
of battery issues. iPhone 7, as I mentioned earlier, battery has been addressed finally. Every other device, I already have a video on this. Links will be down below where I talk about the battery and should you update. I'll link that down below. But pretty much all devices are good to go, excluding iPhone SE first generation and some of the last reports on iPhone 12 battery issues. So that is everything I have for you guys. Most of you are good to go within the next day or two. If you have an update, I would say go ahead and update if nothing major pops up here, which I don't see it happening, but just wait a day or two. It's the best thing to do. iOS 14.5 is finally here and Apple has delivered. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.